What up? <laughs> hey guys, I'm Dan. I'm Ernest. And today we're gonna be talking about a really exciting and a bit of an intermediate thing called Decision Diamond. Wow. No, it's not the one that you put on your hand, uh, but it's actually a really powerful tool. So Ernest, tell me a little bit more about Decision Diamonds. Yeah, so the best way that I've been able to describe what a Decision Diamond does is you can consider them the usher in the movie theater. Theater five, to your left, theater nine, to your right. Okay. So they actually dictate, based on the rules that you create, which direction someone goes in your funnel or in your pipeline or in your follow-up yeah. sequences. So if I try to get into theater one and uh, my ticket says theater three, the usher's gonna tell me, no, go down this way. That's exactly right. Great. Yep. So let me show you how we actually do that in Infusionsoft. Now, in order to get to Decision Diamonds, you have to go into a campaign. I'm gonna go ahead and go into this one that I've conveniently named Decision Diamond Campaign. DDC. <laughs> and you'll notice on here, I've pulled out a form. I've called it my real estate form. And I've got two follow-up sequences, one called buyer and one called seller. Now, there's no diamond in here yet. I'll show you how we can actually access it. So I can drag out a line there, and you'll notice still no decision diamond. When I drag out another line, then the decision diamond appears. So the way that a decision diamond appears is if there's two possible directions that someone could go after a goal or a mm. trigger. Now, in order to configure the decision diamond, we actually just double click inside of it. And you'll notice I've got rules for buyer and rules for seller. I'm gonna treat my buyers and sellers differently. So if they tell me they're a buyer, I want them to get a certain set of follow-up. If they tell me they're a seller, I want them to get a certain set of follow-up. So in here, I can actually establish those rules. If I click plus rules, I can say if the contacts tags in this case, because I've actually tagged my leads as buyers or sellers, contains buyer, then send them to the buyer sequence. I can do the same for seller. If the contacts tags contains seller, send them to the seller sequence. So what you're telling me is the decision diamond based on the tags or it looked like custom fields is also an option mm -hmm. in one or, or contact fields. Or contact fields. Yeah. Based on how they're categorized, it will automatically send them to the appropriate sequence that I have in my campaign. That's exactly right. That sounds pretty powerful. It is really powerful. Yeah. Imagine you're a pest control business yeah. and someone says, we've got scorpions. Yeah. Well, you don't want to send them information about getting rid of rodents, right? No. So the decision diamond can help you in instances like that as well, as well as any other thing. If someone says that they're interested in a specific product of yours, product A, for example, you probably don't want to send them emails about product B, C, and D. No. But if they tell you they're interested in that, <coughs> use the decision diamond to logically send them the appropriate information. That sounds great. Guarantee you'll make more money doing more that. More money. <laughs> awesome. Yep. Well, guys, hope you had fun with this video. Just to recap, decision diamonds allow you to segment your customers, send them through the right sequence, so you can give them the relevant information that they need. Yep. Super we'll powerful see you next tool. week. Take care. <laughs>